China is building a massive 180 km canal through Cambodia. It will connect Phnom Penh with the Gulf of Thailand. The project is being fully funded by China under its Belt and Road Initiative. And it looks set to change the geopolitical situation along the Mekong River. But why is the canal making some Southeast Asian countries nervous? Stick around as we take a look at the Funan Teco Canal and how it might change the region surrounding the Mekong River Delta. April 1994, a remote village in Cambodia. 13 Vietnamese residing in Cambodia were murdered in a mysterious attack. And 27 other Vietnamese residents were wounded in the incident. The perpetrators behind the attacks were never found. The incident angered the Vietnamese government greatly. And it accused Cambodia of trying to expel ethnic Vietnamese from the country. In response to these murders, Vietnam enacted a blockade of the Mekong River. This river is still a major shipping route for Cambodia to access the South China Sea. And Vietnam's blockade effectively choked off a major shipping line for Cambodia. The matter was subsequently resolved, but it left a lasting impression on Cambodia, which till today continues to rely on the Vietnamese port of Chaimè to access lucrative shipping lines to China that bypass the Gulf of Thailand. Cambodia knows that unless it can connect Phnom Penh with the Gulf of Thailand, the country will continue to rely on Vietnam for access to China-bound sea lines. On the other side of Cambodia is China, which has been trying to build a blue water navy. Since it was founded, China's navy has existed mostly as a green water naval service. Beijing knows that unless the People's Liberation Army Navy becomes a blue water navy, China will never be able to protect its sea lines of communications and interests overseas. But the PLA Navy has a major weakness when compared to Western powers like the US. And that is the lack of access to friendly ports along its sea lines of communication. This lack of access means that the PLA Navy cannot sustain a campaign at sea for long. And its ships will have to return back to the mainland for replenishment operations. Given the overlapping territorial claims that China has over the South China Sea, China finds it hard to establish basing arrangements with countries in Southeast Asia. But the Southeast Asian country that China is friendly with is Cambodia, and China has funded a project to upgrade Cambodia's Rim naval base, such that the base can be used to dock Chinese aircraft carriers in the near future. Satellite images show that Chinese warships have already begun docking at the base. But despite this, Cambodia's Rim naval base still has one major drawback. The base is poorly connected and its surrounding infrastructure is vulnerable to attacks. A disabling of this infrastructure can easily paralyze operations at this naval base. Hence, here's where ambitions of both Cambodia and China coincide. On one hand, Cambodia wants greater access to the Gulf of Thailand. And on the other, we have China, who wants better connectivity for the Rim naval base. Hence, the Funan Teco Canal project was initiated. Besides a length of over 180 kilometers spanning between Phnom Penh and the Gulf of Thailand, the canal will be about 100 meters wide with an average depth of about 5 meters. Works to begin digging the canal have already begun and the first ships are expected to sail down the canal from 2028. And this is where Vietnam starts getting nervous about its national security. According to Vietnamese government-backed Oriental Research Development Institute, 
the canal can be flooded by locks during times of war. And this will create the necessary water depths for Chinese military vessels to enter from the Gulf of Thailand and strategically encircle Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh City. Such a presence will allow China to gain a strategic foothold in the Mekong Delta region. Should war break out between China and the US in the Southeast Asian theater? Given historical precedents on how canals have played a part in major wars, it is understandable why Vietnam might feel strategically threatened by Cambodia's canal. But are Vietnam's concerns over the canal valid? To effectively assert military control over the canal, China would have to sail its combatants and amphibious vessels into the waterway. This includes its helicopter carriers and guided missile destroyers, which have draughts of between 8 meters and 6 meters respectively. Given the Funan Teco Canal's average depth of only about 5 meters, the only Chinese warships that can travel upstream are its smaller corvettes and boats. And these are not the types of warships that can impose strategic control over a canal or encircle Ho Chi Minh City as per the scenario that Vietnam is worried about. So if there is little threat militarily, why is Hanoi making a ruckus over the canal? To answer this question, we may have to look beyond economics. While Vietnam is set to lose a significant chunk of its shipping revenue from Cambodia, the canal presents Vietnamese defence planners with a unique opportunity to slowly revamp the country's decades-long defence procurement norms. Vietnam's military planners know that in terms of defence technology, weapon systems from the Western countries are far more superior and proven when compared to the Sino-Russian systems it has been relying on for decades. And in order to pivot away from the Sino-Russian systems, Vietnam's defence planners needed an impetus to convince its political leaders to embrace NATO weapon systems and slowly abandon its Sino-Russian roots. And the Funan Teco Canal has presented Vietnamese military planners with the convenient boogeyman needed to catalyze this change. And this boogeyman has come bearing the red flag of the People's Liberation Army. Thus far, Vietnam has already begun receiving smaller military equipment from the US. And Washington is also considering to transfer some aircraft to Vietnam. As such, here's the irony of the Funan Teco Canal. While the canal has been built with Chinese funds to increase China's access to the region, it may be the reason why there will soon be a greater inflow of Western weapons into the Indochina region. What are your thoughts about the Funan Teco Canal? Do leave us your comments below. And do drop us a like and subscribe to stay in touch with more content like this.